Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm the Worm, this is the Proton. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Arga T2 or T Plus. Yeah, T2 or T Plus. They're the same thing. Um, the only difference is the T Plus has got a polycarbonate tank. Those of you who know about polycarbonate and watch the iClear video, be aware that it's polycarbonate if you're going to get a T Plus. Um, that's literally the only difference. Um, the T Plus had a poorly finished polycarbonate tank to start with and it's now been redressed by Liberty Flights anyway and the difference between the T Plus and the T2 is one pound. The only reason I got the T Plus and not the T2 is because I didn't have any T Pluses. Uh, T2, sorry. So there. That's the Arga. So the dreaded Arga. We are going to go over now to it taken apart. Yeah. We're okay. going to show you putting it together, recoiling it. Um, and we'll show you that polycarbonate, yeah, we're gonna the, the, uh, the new tank where it's actually been finished yeah, quite nicely. Whether you can make it out or another thing, but we'll show you it. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll catch you in a second. Look at my Vamo! It's bronze! <laughs> Look at it! Look what I've you done! Stop. I don't care, I've already shown it. I'm going to show it in every video today. Right, hey guys, this is the uh, Arga T2. T2, T+, whatever. T2, T+. Um, Proton's here as well. I am here, guys. I am here. Um, this is all taken apart. This is all the separate bits over here. Which this is, is lot. the re-wicking bit here. I have pre-cut my um, wick and my canthole, which I have pre-washed, just on a light bit of water with just finger washing, basically. Um, but we yeah, I've mentioned that because basically we haven't mentioned it previously, and uh, it flagged up in one of the comments that we haven't actually mentioned that you should do that. Yeah, so we d we're just assuming that the uh, little bit of taintiness some people are getting is just from like the where it's being machined. Obviously, it's got a little bit of oil or residue left over, so. Uh, we're going to start off with our base here. So we're just going to put one of these little silica plugs into that bottom there, if we can. Sorry guys, I'm doing this all half as the, but you know, this is how we do it. That's in there, quite nice and firm. And then this one goes in the top up here. And that's in, nice and firm. Uh, I'm going to go back to the base, obviously this is upside down, that's your 510 connection there. Turn it over, get your metal pole that goes center in the centre pole. Center pole. Screw it into the base. It is universal, mm -hmm. isn't it? It is universal. So yeah, you can go either side. side. Um, you see there's probably quite a lot of O-rings and stuff here guys, when you order the tank you do get a replacement O-rings, a replacement um, bolt for the top. But yeah, that's basically it, screw that into the bottom. Just nice and finger tight again. Like with all other no. applications, <laughs> uh, I <want> a tank. <laughs> tank, just tank's just free floating, but you've got um, obviously a screw fit there pushes it nice and tight, so you don't get any leaking. Red O rings you got there. Yeah, you won't get any leaking. Although, I mean, even still, I look at it and think, how does that not leak? It doesn't leak. It just doesn't. It's cut to fit. Um, and point out, this is a T plus from Liberty. The T two T plus are the same thing. The only difference is it's a tank on a T two. It's uh, Pyrex on a T plus, it's polycarbonate. There was some issues with the polycarbonate tank when it's first made. One, it's polycarbonate, but we'll get past that. Uh, and basically, the top and the bottom were poorly finished by the machine that cut them. Uh, Liberty Flights have addressed that issue. You do not get a poorly finished tank with it. You do get a nice, the decent. Oh, can you finished. see that there? It's hard to see, but basically, it looked like it was cut by a child and, you, and a hacksaw the first one. But these have been addressed, and that's no longer the case. You get a nice finished polycarbonate tank. The only reason I bought this is because uh, they had no T2s in it at the time. Given the choice, I'd have paid the extra pound for the Pyrex. There you go. Uh, we've got obviously another thread on the other side, that's why they're universal, and that screws into the top there. Which you just place over, and again, obviously, just nice and tight. But obviously, don't over tighten it. Don't over tighten it, but you can take a bit. Of you, can, you can take a little bit of squeezing just to push that, uh, the O rings on the top and bottom, make sure they're definitely airtight. Just, I think mine's just slipping a little bit there, it's just been washed, so. Yeah, that's that. And then you've got your centre post here. That go oh, centre prong that goes up through the thing. Goes so up to make connection with your battery. From the bottom, obviously, because you want that as you're touching your battery. Make sure those silica bits go inside the 5 ton connection and not onto that prong, guys. It's quite important. Otherwise, you can split the silica and ruin this basin. So it's quite a little bit of stuff. It's, it's bit quite firm. Yeah. It's quite firm. That. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to line up the hole there, I know I went off camera there, but I'm just trying to make sure I don't ruin the silica on this. If the silica comes out the top slightly, it's no big deal, you can push it back down, it's mainly the bottom one that's going to take all of that pressure, you could lose your silica up in the bottom of the 510 connection, which is not good. There you go, that's what you want, Then just a little bit of pressure with two farms around it, and that's back into where you want it. <coughs> 
So that's your top, pretty much done. Then you've got these three nuts here. The first one just goes on straight down, quite tight, obviously because that's going to hold your central post and the your positive connection in place. But again, just going to be finger tight. So you don't want to ruin that. There's only silicone. so tight you can get in before the center post starts to spin anyway. So you just get it sort of finger tight, uh, a reasonable amount of force. It's not Unless you first one in. Force. I thought these were going to give me a little bit more problems, these uh, nuts. The nuts. The nuts aren't a problem until you come to re-wicking, because I have got a habit of jumping away and, and running off like a little cricket. <laughs> and finding, although these probably look quite big on the screen, I promise you, these are redonkulously small. Even on his finger, it looks bigger than it is. They really are small. And when it's in a carpet, especially around worms, it's got loads of crap on the floor. It's, it's near impossible to see the bloody My thing. My carpet is immaculate. It's, it's just... immaculate now. Bloody wasn't when I lost the bloody nut. Well, yeah, I lost it once and uh, we found it after a About good an hour. Two, it wasn't an hour, Very it was like hour. five minutes of Very looking. Like, like and month. then immediately after, I put on lost it again. <laughs> <laughs> so it was another like five, ten minute look around, Indeed. which was uh, okay. But this is obviously the top one. Once you've got those two, those are basically holding your post in. This top uh, nut is where you're going to actually be wrapping your coil around when you actually make your. Uh, we can call up. Yeah. One second. I don't know why. I say call and then the call just went out of my head. Whilst we're at this angle and it's empty, we might as well go through some of the options you've got, guys. Basically, this is how it comes when you buy it. This is now my finger, this oh, screwdriver. That's, a bit that's how it comes when you buy it. This hole here is meant for a metal mesh setup, okay? Rolled, oxidized metal mesh. Uh, that becomes your no the negative, this screw here, and that's your positive, okay? Uh, this is a filling screw, but remove the filling screw. You then use this as your negative, this is your positive, and you can U-wick it, so wick all the way through there and there. The same thing can be done with metal mesh all the way through. Today, I mean, the, the advantage with this is it is completely customizable. As long as your positive is coming off there and your negative is coming off of this screw, this screw, this screw, you're okay. So what we're gonna do today, just because it's easier for purposes of the video, we're gonna silica wick it in the metal mesh post using one single silica wick all the way up. We're not gonna U-wick it um, purely because this video is going to be a pain in the bum to do anyway. The Arger is not, it's nice when you get it working, but it's, it's a bit of a tricky one. So we're going to single silica wick this down the metal, metal um, mesh post. We was just going to do a single silica wick over here, but this is not screw threaded. So we could not put this filling screw next to this negative screw here and use that as our negative. So we're just going to single silica wick it here. All right, but the, the possibilities really are endless. You can dual coil this using this as a <coughs> negative and this is a negative, having a coil there and a coil there. Um, if you want to do that, it's up to you. It's not something I've attempted yet. It's just a major, major pain in the bum. As you can see, as soon as Worms doing this rebuild, my hands are a bit shaky today. But I, uh, uh, I would say a hard day at work, but I haven't really. It's just been a day at work. It's just my hands are a bit shaky today. Where we work, we, we use a lot of power tools, and uh, he's had a little uh, revamp on his Vamo, which we'll show you in probably our next video. Oh, no, we're going to show you now. Oh, 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 it's bronze at the minute. <laughs> so he's, he's knocked that back down to bronze again, so... Uh, yeah, he's been li he's still, still a little bit. Also, of, uh, whilst we're doing, whilst we're doing demos, this is my little canthole spindle that I knocked up 32 gauge. Look at that! Did that work? Just so I didn't have to carry around that massive big thing that we bought. What have you touched? I haven't touched it, mate. It's still recording. So sorry, guys. I've just accidentally knocked the mouse, and we've got something from Microsoft. Over. There you go. It's closed now. Right. So now we're just going to get straight onto the wicking bit now, guys. So I'm not going to stop. We're just going to keep going because that's how we do things. We don't care. We just go. So, as I said before, you you watched our other coiling a, a wick and coil obviously I don't wick know why I'm video. You can't get words out of that, I know I cannot it's just you watched our other wick and coil video we've got like three now I think one just doing a DDA standard wick one complete re-wick of a DDA which on reflection we think you should maybe may use three one more piece of wick as opposed to four and an overhead uh, and uh, uh, what and yeah we did an overhead which yeah. is the same as a V3 head either or isn't it so basically yeah. you got your three wicks or oh, already pre-cut on I know it's a little bit but whatever uh, I've pre-washed this like we say wash this because obviously like residue oil or whatever comes off that machine part make sure you got a little space to uh, tinker with I mean what was I doing there I'd normally do it like that but I'm going to be re-wicking that way I don't know why but I'm going to be doing it backwards basically we if found you it easier right handed, you'll find that your negative either comes over or under the wick when it comes to setting up and Worm was having more issues than me when it came to setting up his DDA negative and positive because I wick holding the wick in my left hand and using my right to wrap whereas Worm wraps the opposite so he tries to work I am backwards. left handed yeah so now he tries to work backwards to make his life a little bit easier it does on, work on this mate it's not going to make any difference 
because that sorry guys that'll be a negative if you go around that way or that way it doesn't make any difference it's but not, I'll, I'll always set up now so we're going to go this for this is a vertical um, coil as opposed to a horizontal one so it's not as important on here but it can if you think about it slightly before you do it it can make your life a bit different obviously guys wrapping a coil standard procedure paper clip in there sort of tight ish but not uber duper tight get them coils so close together I think I discussed this earlier I told when we should do four wraps he, he's adamant he's going to do five which I'm guessing I'm about to watch the fifth one there it goes Swag. Um, five gets your. We've estimated. I mean, a guy asked us the other day on one of our videos. I don't want to name names just in case he doesn't want his name shouted out. But he asked roughly how many coils f for the homage because he didn't really have any way to test it yet. And we found with three mil, five wraps is generally between about 2.1 to 2.5. It's not exact because it all depends how far away your negative and positive are together. Cause it's going to change the distance, I mean, obviously. It can also depend on on what you're using for example I've got a feeling with the Arga it might go either way it could be slightly more or slightly less than that purely because you've got more gap in between your coil and your negative and more uh, sorry and less in between your coil and your positive so it could go either way with this um, but rule of thumb with Nova heads and with the DDA four five wrap, five wraps is about two ohms call it but um, with this I think we're going to end up with about is it going to focus eight. today Okay. Sorry about that. We are going to upgrade this camera at some point. He, he says, looking at me as if I've done something wrong when I bought this camera. No, no, you did a good job. I mean, like, it got us going and we're doing well. I and mean, we thank you for watching our videos and all that. But uh, there are five coils there. They are nicely spaced now. I did have a we're little. Honest, guys, you just have to take our word for it. That's it. I'm just going to give it a little bit like that. Take out my paper clip. And that's uh, ready to go, I think. Right, now this comes the tricky part with this uh, <laughs> Arga is getting three single bits of uh, one mil wick into that hole. They tend to fray up at the end a little bit, and then they don't want to go in the hole. I would Hopefully today we're not going to have any of that issue. I would issue. recommend cutting those first. You no, we're in. First we are time, in. Honestly, guys, we spent 20 minutes the other day trying to get a bit of wick in. As you can see, that wick's a bit too long for this. It's not going to make a major deal. What would we'll, the wick bunching up in there is no bad thing. Um, we're going to put a positive and negative on. We'll trim the top off. But having a, a bit of loose wick in the bottom there's not going to make any difference to you whatsoever. If anything, it makes a wick all the Should way. Should I down. trim them up? What? Right. If you are a little bit OCD, I'm going to do this for you OCD guys out there. I'm well, going to pull that out after oh getting it in. Christ. <laughs> Why don't you, you? I would have trimmed the top and slid the coil down. No, which we've is done it now. Guys. We, we haven't done, it now. done anything. You have. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. You might as well trim the top up whilst you're trimming then. It was a joint decision. It wasn't a joint decision. It was. Oh, God. Honestly, guys, I really hope this goes well because otherwise this video could be three quarters of an hour just on this little bit <laughs> alone. Like, if it does go really, really badly, then uh, I think we'll probably stop the video and go back on when it starts. As an example of that frame we were talking about. Oh, you lucky bugger. And we're in. Lucky bugger. Why have you got one coming off one way and one coming off the other? I don't know. It's going to make your life so much more difficult no, than it's it has not. to be. Oh, dear. All right, well, that's, that's uh, serious, serious luck to do it once. Is, is lucky to get it twice is really lucky so I'm just going to put that flat back in now yeah right get a little positive screwdriver which are Mr. Proton's I'm just going to undo a little negative screw a little bit you don't need to do it much uh, I'm going to say something here when you put this uh, negative in it tends to pull the wire because obviously it's a screw so I always I would suggest like pushing the quill that way a little bit just so you've got a little bit of slack on it so when you tighten it up <coughs> when it actually taunts it it's going to be go back to straight so just be aware that the screw will pull it, the wire a little bit across, but anyone with any kind of know-how, know-how on that, after a we'll while, see you, it. Get, you get used to doing this stuff. I mean, if you've got a DDA, Dan, shout out to you, mate. I know you have on our advice. Good for that. And I, I think I'm don't know if you sure. can see that. So after speaking to Dan, we do speak to Dan regularly. I'm actually speaking to him now. Dan, speaking to you right now about the ammo, mate. Um, he's loving his DDA. Uh, personally, I'd say you probably want it a bit tighter on now, tighter to the negative. You reckon? Yeah, you want to get. It doesn't matter if it's touching or negative, mate. You want to get as close as possible. It is close. Sorry, guys. I'm just taking off the camera. That is close. Mm. It's straight. Yeah, right. I mean, it doesn't come back as straight as much as I thought it was then, but it is still pretty bang on straight. I mean, you're not going to get much better. Th there is like little OCD bits. You could undo it a little bit and do it a little bit tighter, but whatever. For the purpose of this, it's pretty much spot on for what we want it. When it comes to this top, I'm gonna. I'll talk so I'll make it a bit easier. Basically, you want to loosen the nut off, similar to the DDA, and you want to wrap it around twice, and then you basically want to screw that nut down. 
which is what Worm's doing now. I know you probably can't make this out, guys, especially since there's a bit of wicking away and the wire's not that visible anyway. But Sorry, you guys. You want to wrap it around that top post twice, and then you want to use your literally finger tight screw the nut down with your fingers. Um, like I so said, this is a bit more difficult than DDA. It's more adjustment to make. There is more getting the coil in exactly the right place and making sure that everything is as should be. Something you'll learn as time basically comes if you do to choose to buy something like this. Um, which is a true rebuildable as opposed to the Novas which is semi and I'd say to be honest with you to some extent the DDA is a bit of a, a mixed bag because it is a true rebuildable but it's also got replacement coils and that's the problem with using the old spin technique to break your wire is that it can put it out of the post on the Argo it's not saying it happens on DDA but on the Argo it does I'd use the clippers mate I think I am uh, I try to use it just in case you don't have uh, clippers it, it does work with twisting it but you've got to be a little bit more Careful. Gentle. There's one more loving with it. But um, yeah, I mean, the DDA, sorry, is a true builder, but they do do replacement calls for it. So I'd say that's virgin on a semi rebuildable just because of how easy it is to rebuild. It's, it is a true rebuildable, but it's so easy, honestly. Anyone can do it. Whereas this does require some serious technical know how. Um, I'm and just making sure my calls are uh, just uh, still lined up where they should be. Yeah, it was obviously They're pretty good. Same guys. DDA, you've got to make sure it's all lined up. You've got to make sure that. Your coils aren't touching, you're not going to get shorts. Um, and on this, with the amount of metal in here, so that's probably even more possible on this than it is with a DDA. That is as tight as I can get it with that at the moment, so I'm just going to. Hopefully, this is the right one. <laughs> I'm going to check that before I cut. You just cut your brand new coil. <laughs> you haven't, have you? Uh, no. Wait, a little bit ain't going to make a difference. No, I just want to tidy it up a bit, just so. If he cocks this up now, you're off camera. Right? <laughs> I'm off camera. Sorry, guys, I'm. I'm trying to do this by looking at the camera and looking at this at the same time. So we should be able to do this with a little one. Should Just a little it. twist and there we go. It's broken off. It's good. It's good, thank Christ. There we go, it's then good. We just want to basically trim up the top uh, wick and then we're going to basically want to test the coil and fire those coils to make sure that they're all heating nice and even. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm just trying to put the pure pressure on this. I don't want to pull it just so it doesn't pull the coil out of place and screw everything up. There you go, that's pretty tidy there guys. I'm, a, I'm so sorry you can't really see that that close. I mean you can see roughly the coils there and you can see the wire protruding across to there. I don't know if I put my finger behind it, you can see a little bit better. You can see a slight line there. That is the actual camphor wire there. So where is the old gone? Yep. You know you want to do it. No, no, yeah, no, you do. I can't do it until it enters the screen. <laughs> until it enters the screen. Until it enters the screen. Look at this guy. You can't see it. He's unwrapping bubble wrap to get this pissing thing out. <laughs> <laughs> he lies. Provari. <laughs> Looks a bit bigger than a Provari, but honestly, it, it, it sits bang on with a Vamo. It's looking good on a Vamo. Right, so we're going to go. This is upside down for you guys at the moment. Yes, it is. Have to cycle around again. Yeah, sorry guys, I was trying to make sure it was which way I was facing upside down. That was around is 2.1. Well, there you go. 2.1. And basically what you want to do now guys is just want to test fire them coils. So hopefully you can see these lighting up. Hey, I'm on four, that's right. There we go, look there at that. There go. It's looking pretty even from here. Yeah. So that should about do it. Don't want to do any more guys just because uh actually should we put a little bit of juice on then, just uh do yeah, it again. Cool. Use the apple. Right, I'm going to use some apple. apple. got the decent pouring funnel on it. Oh yeah, we've got the tight one on this, haven't yeah. we? Just going to put a little juice on this, see how it goes, guys. And then we'll carry on. Right, let's give that a little test fire. Yep. Beautiful. So that should be. Um, are you going to fill it now, or should we do that? Back on big camera. Um, fill it yeah, we shall get to fill it. it now. Right, take out the little filling hole. You can use a syringe, guys, and sometimes it's easier, especially if you've U-wicked it. You then have no filling hole. Uh, you have to use a negative, which is all the ones now are negative, but it'll be the filling hole then. Uh, and if you double coiled it, you have to go in through where the wick is, which is definitely a syringe job. You need a syringe, yeah. But we've actually got these uh, nipple tops from Totally Wicked, and they are quite tight. That should fit straight in there. Yeah, quite nicely. Fit in there, and then basically turn it sideways, as you can see. And basically give it a squid, and you can see the juice is coming up. Lovely. Oh, I think that's going to be enough. Yep. Um, that's basically how you fit it. Oh, Drop in the screws. One throw screws. Honestly, guys, I'm so sorry. Our videos are so half fast. We don't plan it or anything. We just go, yeah, let's do this. Um, well, we literally got back today and was like, uh, should we do a video? And I was like, 
Yeah, we'll do a video. Um, I don't think this is. It's not returning. It's not flattered any better. <laughs> I'm just so epically legendary at this. Use your fingers, mate. Well, sorry, guys, I'm not talking just because I'm enjoying watching this. <laughs> Everything that could have cocked up the coil, the wick going in, this is the thing that gets you. Yes. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. We're going to record all this because that's just how we roll. The, but the thing is, guys, I mean, a lot of guys, you'll watch do this and they go, yep, yeah, this is simple as this, that, and everything, blah, blah, blah. This is what's going to happen to you if you do this. All right, you live in the world world, tell us where <sighs> we, we don't spend all day rebuilding and that's our job. You're undoing it. I know, because I'm trying to line up the thread so it doesn't. There we go. Oh. There we go. We but um, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that's going to happen to you. You're going to have problems with screws and losing bolts. And I got it, guys. I got it. Finally found the hole. You, yeah, you're going to have these real problems, and this is a problem that we face when we do it. It's like real, the argument. It's just like, oh god. Um, yeah, we've been putting this off for about f five, six two, weeks. No, five or six weeks. <laughs> about two weeks. We've been putting this off, putting it on video anyway. Because when you're doing it on your own, you haven't really got to hope everything goes well. But that is it, guys. Basically, um, and then obviously you plonk. Oh. This on the top up here, you got a little air hole. Just you gotta take my word for it, guys. You it's, can make it out if you there you go. There you go, it's right there. You want to line that up with obviously your wick or silica, silica or your mesh, whichever so you got going. You line it up with your wick so your air comes across the wick. This is a difference between this and the DDA. You line your air hole up manually. So if you, it's too smoky, you can move it away. That's it, and that's the banging clear drip tip I've got. Boom. That there is you go, guys. one fully built and filled Arga. So we're going to go back up to us now guys and yeah, show you in all of its glory. Uh, catch you in a sec. Welcome back guys, I uh, hope that was uh, all clear enough for you. I mean, I know we do it a little bit half assed all the time, but Just you know, roll. it is what it is. We try to get close ups, we're going to probably get a better camera soon for close, close ups and that. Yeah, so with manual focus, that's the main problem is the camera just doesn't want to focus on anything other than our hands. Everything we did say was there, like the five coils, there were five coils in there. We, don't, we ain't gonna lie to you. This is we buy all our yeah, stuff. Good. Yeah, yes. We don't get any free stuff. Everything we tell you is the God's honest truth of how we feel about it. Yeah, I mean, I think it, one of the reasons we do do the half hours videos as well is like we just said in that one is this kind of stuff is going to happen to you. It's all good watching people on YouTube that have got sort of thousands of views and have just gone. This is how you do it. Bang, 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 bang. Recorded bang, that ten times until it goes perfect. And it's done. We do it the first time to give you as much as what is likely to happen to you and what happens to us whenever we try and do it. The Arga is particularly difficult. It's not something that you want to take on lightheartedly and if you're not into rebuildables, I mean if you move from something like a Nova to a DDA you're going to be a bit like whoa and a DDA is easy. Getting onto this kind of thing by the way it does look epic with a Vamo. I mean ignore the fact that that is like I say bronzed. Um, <laughs> I've just taken all the paint and chrome dipping off it but I think it looks quite sleek as it is. But um, Ignore the fact that that's bronze. If you had this in stainless steel, it just, I mean, although it's like proper steely Dan Dildo size, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> it is it's made to go together. It is, and obviously we've got a nice stainless steel drip tip on it as well. I mean, we've got another DDA today. Um, yeah, I've got a blue one. I've got a blue one. I'll this show you one's that soon. Silver. We've got to do a DDA update anyway, so. Um, shall I just put this tip on this and make it look better? Yes, just do that. Let's just do that. This is his new tip he got today. New so. tip today, totally wicked, lovely stuff. But there you go, if you've got it with a stainless tip, imagine if that was stainless all the way down. If you like stainless, and I kind of am starting to with how this looks. Dan, he likes a bit of stainless. Dan likes a bit of stainless. Dan, don't buy one of these, it's too complicated, get yourself three DDAs. <laughs> um, it's, it's not bad, it's not bad, but I mean, we'll show you how it vapes. With a fresh coil, not bedded in or whatever else. Um, He's actually had two pulls off it, I think. That looks quite weak to be honest, I think this is about voltage up. The thing, I mean me and Moon have had discussions, he, doesn't, he thinks the DDA is better and I agree with him on 99% of the time but when this thing's bedded in, the vapor of it is just it's like a dragon's breath. He shakes his head, but he hasn't used it as much as I have. I love I've the DDA. I love the DDA. Honestly, mate, it's, you can, you can, it's the same as going from a DDA to a Nova. It doesn't look that much different. I think but it comes it down to with the Arga. I'm, I'm not going to say Arga T2 every time. Just the Arga is um, it's got a lot more of an area drawn it, whereas the uh, DDA is um, 
<laughs> he's setting himself on fire. Uh, the DDA is um, it's got a lot tighter pull, so it's, it's. I'm sorry. I don't know if you've just watched that, guys, but basically, this cord that was wrapped at the bottom has got a hot spot. Is it? And and I don't know if you can make that. Can you make this out? I've just set it on fire. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a problem with. E-juice is highly flammable, you've got to be aware of that, but this is a problem with wrapping your own coils, it's not gone spectacularly straight away. You've got to, with this, because it's a vertical setup on the coils, they've got to be tight, but it's on the verge of being too tight, so a little bit of movement in that coil, you can knock everything out, to be honest with you, if chuck us that flathead mate, I can probably sort that out. Um, don't be wrong, the wick catching fire is no big deal, I know, it, I know it looks and sounds like a big deal, but it isn't, because... It's heat resistance to like 13 Your silica, Yeah, it's 13, no, it's 1300 Celsius. 1300 Celsius, sorry. Uh, that's like ridiculous temperature, so it's no no major thing. A little bit, to be honest, I've seen someone who uh, cleaned his wick by setting it on fire. Sounds stupid, but he cleaned off all that burnt crap. For, because the burnt crap is coming from the wire, you know, not but. flame. Mm. So it's one of them, but anyway, what I was saying is the Arga T has got a lot area draw to it than the DDA. The DDA is a lot tighter draw, and if you prefer that tighter draw like I do, I mean, he's kind of going more over towards the area draw these days, to me. I still think this is too airy. It is too airy. I mean, it's only a one mil hole, and I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, I need to draw this out and make it two mil. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Honestly, it's not. Compared to a Nova, this thing's like taking a, fr a normal breath. It's like, but um, it's kind of, you've got your Nova one end, and this is the other, and your DDA kind of sits somewhere in the middle. Um, it's definitely looser than Nova because I mean we went back onto Nova for a couple of hours the other day and it was like <laughs> drinking like <laughs> for a straw but it's still tight enough that you f you can almost take like a proper lug of a fag some people inhale using their breathing so they go <laughs> and actually inhale like that personally I don't like doing a full breath inhale I like a mouth inhale like you would with a cigarette and then you inhale it into your, into your lungs and then you breathe it out it depends on preference but this is slightly too airy for me and we've discussed the idea of maybe blobbing some solder on the inside and then drilling it out with half a mil drill bit and that should probably address that issue. Well the thing I was also thinking is if we could put like a little bit more solder so we kind of cone it out a little bit and then drill through it so the kind of the air hole is more actually on the coil like it is on the DDA I think it's going to be a lot better device I mean just a simple little modification like that is going to just probably make this a lot better than the DDA but with this, you've got a lot more that's going to go wrong, a lot more to lose when you wash it. Because if you lose one of those nuts, you've got to replace it. Yeah, oh yeah, and you can't. You need you, three. You, get you need one, one to tighten You could probably do it with two, but you're going to make your coil incredibly small, or you're going to have to horizontal coil it, which ain't going to be easy because then you've got silica wick coming up. Plus, you've got that air hole that, over there. And you've got the air hole as well. Um, what I was going to say, with this, I mean, we'll get, should we just do our little five point? Thing and we can kind of break it down because it's going to be. I can imagine being the it's going to take 10 minutes to do our five point thing, yeah. Because I think otherwise oh, it's going to be too long a video. You've got a notepad, yeah, it's not on there no more. Oh, what a bell! I don't think it is anyway. Let's have a look, guys. Uh, no, it's not there. Our t five point thing is lost, gone with the wind, so we're going to wing it like we normally do. Uh, well, looks is the first one, isn't it? Yes, now am I going first? I'll go first. Um, looks for me. With a, a nice stainless steel drip tip, and if the Vamo is in stainless steel, although it is big, you could run it with mini mode. It's literally, I don't know if it's it, it, it made to fit the Vamo, honestly. It feels like it is anyway. It's lovely and tight. It's, I like it. I like the way it looks. I, I like the fact it's clear in the middle. Um, I'm, I'm going to give this a 9. With the right drip tip, this is a 9. If you're using some gay thing from an over, probably not as much, but with the right drip tip, I'd say it's a 9. Um, I personally don't like it. I mean, it's just me. I'd it is big. It, it, it's not a small thing. We've I mean, thirty mil bottle of juice. We can size it. Everyone seems to have one of those. Thirty mil bottle of juice. It's not a small device. I mean, it's it does hold. I mean, that's mil. quite a small tip as well compared to some other ones that I've seen. We've, we've seen one that like that. But yeah, oh, yeah <laughs> we've seen tips this long. We're not joking. Um, so I mean, that's the size of it. It's a thirty mil. It's kind of down your preference. If you like this kind of Genesis style rebuildable, they're all fairly fairly big anyway. So they're probably similar size. But for me, that. I would rather just have a. Nova, because it's just easier and does work no matter what. You ain't got none of that tinkering crap you got with that. Um, but looks, I mean, it's just. I don't want to go off topic because we're trying to stay on looks and try and get through this. Uh, looks, uh, it's not my personal preference. No, I'm not going to say it's ugly because it's not an ugly device. It it's does very well finished it's and totally, everything. It's totally down to the individual. But it's going to be like 
seven, and that's been generous. I think that's, yeah, it's been generous for you. I know. I mean, I know. Again, it's it's not like when he slags the Vamo off or, or I slag the Bavari off, where we jump to defend it. I'm not going to sit here and go, no, this is definitely better looking than that because it currently comes down to preference. If you look at the size of the Vamo, that's not that big. But if you're using something like a Bavari, do you want to stick on the Bavari? Show yeah. how big it is on that. Um, it is incredibly big. I know we haven't been informative in this video to be honest with you in terms of the Arga. So libertyflights.co.uk. I think it's twenty one ninety nine or twenty two ninety nine with the Pyrex. If you compare it to the Bravari Mini, it's not far off the same size. And I'd like to point out that this thing is full stainless steel. It is incredibly heavy. Um, that's with the five ten fitting on the same, and it is near enough as big as my Bravari. That's Mini. quite a small drip tip as well. Um, but this this thing is for um uh, it's. It's not far off the weight of a Vamo, and the Vamo's got a battery in it. I mean, the Vamo's definitely heavier for sure, but I'd say take that battery out and you're very close. So this has got to be, got to be a cut, uh, an ounce, an ounce and a half easily. Um, and obviously you add your liquid and stuff on top of that. But, sorry, I know we've gone off the fire point. I just wanted yeah, to drop the price of stuff in there. But, um, seven for me. I mean, that is being generous for me because I don't particularly like the way it looks. You're not a big fan of the mods in general, are you? Um, we've discussed this in our, well, uh, our second Welcome to Vaping video. Were more but first I find something he really enjoys the look of and then make sure that it works before he buys it whereas I try and find something that works and then looks are sort of a, a back backdraft for me I mean um, don't get wrong with this thing like he says when it works it's beautiful it does vape well and the, ta the taste is good and everything but just on the looks uh, I wouldn't buy one myself I, and I'm, I have no plans to I mean if they make a better looking one maybe a little bit smaller just because of I. Uh, yeah. but yeah 7 we're just going to go 7 and move on because we can just Flap about it all um, day, you know what we like. We just flap, 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 and flap. But yeah, sorry, I do want to point out big up to Liberty Flights. Like I say, the, if you look at reviews on this, the Arga T Plus gen generally, come, generally comes with a poorly finished tank, um, and the Pyrex tanks are about a fiver to buy. So if you're looking at buying one of these, get the Pyrex one straight away. If it's not in stock, wait or buy it from somewhere else if you absolutely have to, purely because it's going to cost you a fiver to get a Pyrex tank. This is polycarbonate, so it can crack under certain liquids. I do want to say I've not seen very any, thick. It is incredibly thick. I've not. I mean, in terms of a Nova, it's at least three times as thick as a Nova um, tank. I've not seen any comments about these particular ones cracking. I think just because of the amount of polycarbonate that's there, it's going to really thick. resist it. But unless you drop it and you get a like, initial small crack, yeah, so and then the juice gets in there, I think you're going to. I be think fine. you'll be okay. To be honest with you, it's just totally down to preference. Personally, the idea of a glass tank for me, I, I prefer. I'd like this to be polypropylene as opposed to Pyrex because having glass, although it is thick, I do drop stuff. I haven't dropped this yet because I haven't used it enough, but just it's something been kind to, of sitting away. Hasn't something it? to bear in mind. Yeah, it has been sitting away. Um, so yeah, that's basically that's where we're sitting on looks. Um, we got to remember our list now. So well, we had flavour, vapor, and performance. I don't think that was yet. No. You had usability, you had maintenance, and you had overall. So I believe maintenance was the next. We'll one. go with maintenance. We'll go with maintenance. Whatever. Right. Maintain once we're not talking about coiling it. This is just as it is now. How to maintain this now before you need to change it. Maintenance for me. It's not easy, man. It's not as this. No, you've got to unscrew it to fill it. You've got to line up your air hole. It's not something realistically you can carry everywhere around with you. One, because of the weight of the thing. Two, because you're always worried the juice is going to come out. I do want to point out as well that there's nothing coming out of there. There isn't anything coming out of there. But it's always a worry that sits in the back of your mind. It is big. So carrying it around, maintaining it. If it's an indoor vape, eight, I suppose, because it's not that hard to do just to fill it up with liquid and stuff. But if you're looking for something that you want to use a lot, and if you enjoy it, you're going to want to use it a lot. Five, five, five. I'd, say, I'd say five, as a comparison to other tanks. In comparison to other Genesis style tanks, it's the same as all the others are. You've got to re-wick it, you've got to coil it, and it, once you've got it all done, you've then got to fill it with juice and vape it, and then fill it with juice and vape it. So once you've actually got it coiled, it's not that hard to maintain, but taking it out and about with you can be a pain because obviously if something goes wrong, you're not going to have canthal and silica and the time and the place to do it. Unless you've got a mod pouch. Unless you've got a mod pouch, and which, yeah, I mean, I mean to be honest, I've got a big ego, ego case, I did take it He's to work with me once. I have bought a man bag. A man Would you bag. like to see the man bag? I'll give you an update on the man bag. Here is the man bag. <laughs> that carries all my wallet and everything. It's like a handbag, but for a man, it's a man bag. <laughs> um, and to be honest with you guys, it's not something I suggest for all of you, but I'm masculine enough to pull it off, so it's all good. Um, well, personally, you just look like a big gay with one. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, moving on. Um, maintenance, your score. They're the same. It's, it's an eight for indoors, because it's when you've got all your stuff around you, it's, Line up your air holes two seconds, you have to do it with your DDA anyway. Kind of, you don't really have to do your DDA, but it is better when you do it. This is more important to do it. Yeah, this with is. DDA, you have to do it for that. Pretty, I mean, it's not. 
You have to. If you're happy with it wherever it is, it's fine. But you'll get better vapour if you put it near the wick. I've heard you get better throat hit if you put it on the opposite side to the wick. So it's more tailorable than DDA in terms of what you can do with the air hole, but it's also more fuss. So yeah, that is what it is. I think you, I'm going to change the out and about because I think five is a bit too generous when you're out and about. I think I'm going to go four. I think as long as you've got it with the top on and it's in a case. It's going to be no more difficult than a Nova, but, we but have it's the potential if something goes yes. wrong. If you knock a coil it's out, if you get a hot spot, you're not going to have a flattened screwdriver in your pocket to realign coils. But not the only thing, but if you, I'm just going to take this a little bit apart a minute, you're going to take this top off. Just say you do knock that off in your pocket. You something, got liquid. something catches that coil and pulls out that wick, you've now got a hole with liquid dripping into your pocket. So mm. there's potentially a lot more to go wrong with that. That's the only reason it's, I'm giving it a Four rather than a five. Hard to use when you're out. It's just the potential of stuff going wrong could make it an incredibly annoying day. Yes. Um, it's just that the fact that it could go wrong. I know things can always go wrong. A Nova could crack or whatever else, but this I see it being is a lot more likely. I think that's that's the thing. So if it's all good, you're going to have an eight in and an eight out. But I think we're going to have to knock that mark down just because there is a serious Locked. potential stuff to go wrong with this. And that top isn't hard to pull off. No, really I, mean, it's, I mean, don't be wrong, it's, it's well o-ringed on, it's better, the o-rings are stronger than the DDAs, but this has got a lot more weight than the DDA to hold, so it's not, especially once you get them o-rings lubed up, it will hold its own weight and it will hold the weight of ammo, but I wouldn't want to shake that too much, um, so something to bear in mind, it really, really, if you find a Genesis style, it's only going to be an indoor thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's usability next. Usability, all right, usability. I think that was one before actually that we did on this. But Doesn't really matter, as long as we cover all five, I'll have to write them down again in a minute. Usability, once you've got it, are we going through the coils? This is if the whole thing, using it. Usability, it's got to be low because the coiling on it is a pain. Getting those wicks in, I mean, we've seen people put a bit of mesh around the bottom of their wicks and poke that through, but again, you've got to uh, do all your shit to your mesh and cut it and get it round and oxidise it and all you that. You haven't got to oxidise it if you're just going to wrap the bottom of the silicone well, wicks in it, but if you're just going to use mesh, you've got to cut it and oxidise it and all that. So, so it's it's a pain. I'm not going to tell you this. I mean, it went very well on camera, which we didn't expect because we re ripped this about, what, 12 times now? And every time has been a effort. I mean, we were literally talking about doing it and Dan was, um, Proton was like, uh, no, I don't want to do it. And I was like, but if we don't do it now, we're not going to want to do it later. Because once we get to, like, lazy... But I'm glad it's done, put it that way. Yeah. It just, uh, eh. I've got to give it low. I've got to give it low. Once you get it working, amazing. And usability is fine once you've got all your coils and that set up and your oxidised and all that kind of rubbish. But just getting that initial coil in, it's not like other replaceable, well the, other, the DDA that we've tried. We will be getting some more later on in life, but for now it's got to be low. I mean it might change as we get more devices and some of them are harder and more of a pain in the ass. But now, four. Usability. Or for the coil in. Oh, sorry, that's yeah. just for the coil in now. Right. For once you've got all, everything else set up, usability just turn into that's, that turns into maintenance, doesn't it? So what's well, it, yeah. usability is literally from four. the box for um, usability for me. I do want to point out that, as we've said before, our benchmark is like the Nova. So we're, when we say four, if the Nova's sort of up there, this is in comparison. Um, usability compared to other Genesis style tanks. No more difficult. In fact, in terms of some of them, I easier. The same, I mean, some Genesis tanks, literally, as opposed to you've got your screws, you've got two posts, and you have to wrap the core around the post, and it just kind of holds there. Um, so, in which case, that can come loose, and also the posts seem a bit flimsy, and that's proper Genesis tanks. So, compared to any other Genesis style tank, eight. It's just as easy. As, oh, sorry, it's not just as easy. It's just as complicated as the other ones are. Um, but against our benchmark of the Nova. Usability, personally, I think we're being generous, and that doesn't, I don't say that very often. Personally, I think this is like a two. It's not. Compared to the DDA? Compared to the DDA, well, if the D, well, we said the DDA was about an eight or nine, didn't we? Yeah, about I maintain eight. that the DDA is easy to use, even when you come to wrapping in, in your own coils and stuff. Compared to the DDA, this is a lot, a lot more. Com I could probably re wick and wrap 10 DDAs before this is done, usually. It's like it went well on camera. Um, yeah, I've got to bear in mind that if you've got a poke silica wick through, that's one thing. Most guys will use this on metal mesh. We've tried once, it went a bit wrong. I'm getting some more. Um, I do want to try it on metal mesh because apparently it's meant to be absolutely outstanding on metal mesh. And if that's the case, it, if it outperforms the DDA and smashes it, the fact it's got a tank with it as well, 
that could I can see it turning around. Um, and although it would pain the ass to do, once it's done, the sort of benefits will be worth but it. But for now, you've got to do it. So usability. Uh, user, yeah, you still got to do it. And oxidising mesh and stuff is it? I'd say usability for me overall is a two, just because it's a pain in the ass to use. If you use this kind of stuff, then you're used to it. For you, it's going to be like an eight. But for Joe blogs out there, sort of, I know like Dan for example. Dan's been using Carto. He's just I'm going to a DDA. A um, no, I know, it's weird, isn't it? But um, Dan's been using Carto tanks. In comparison, if you were going to jump from a Carto tank onto a rebuildable, I'd recommend a DDA because it's the easiest. If you went from Carto tanks to this, you would you would rate it at like a 2 as usability because it is I a I think pain. if you went from anything to that, I would say a 4. Unless you're using Genesis tanks already or... or I mean, you saw how many drippers. pieces from our video, how many pieces are there and how complicated. You've got to wash all that out, remember? Every time you change flavour or we whip that, it's all got to be washed. So you yeah. can re really wick it without washing it, especially if you're using metal mesh, you can yeah, just slide it down into the tank, but then you can have tainting issues and juice everywhere. It's not worth it. It's no, just you, not worth you've it. got to wash it. Realistically, you have got And if you it. lose one of those nuts or put that silica from the uh, centre positive post, you need to replace it. I do want to say, you're starting to get a bit more of that smoke coming through now. Um, and this vapor. does vape, smoke, whatever. <laughs> it's not whatever, it's vapour. This thing. The vapour it gives off is wicked. The flavour isn't quite as good as the DDA on silica. On metal mesh, it's meant to smash the Loon Daylights out of it. Um, we get on to performance, so flavour and vapour. For me, with the flavours I've used, I've only used them on silica, not on metal mesh. Take that into account when I give my ratings. Flavour for me is a seven. It's not the best by a long means. I'd say the Nova's probably slightly better than this on silica. Um, and the DDA is definitely better. And DDA's a 10. DDA is a 10, but this is not bad. It's, it's good. It's, to be honest with you, until I get this set up with metal mesh and it's working perfectly, and then I start to get that flavour that people talk about, the absolutely outstanding flavour of vapour. I said 7. I think the blueberry was quite nice. It, it's mean, not that it kills the flavours, but you get similar results to the Nova. Being and a bit you more generous with flavour on this, I'm going to say 8, because I think it's close to the Nova in flavour. Once it's bedded in, beforehand, eh, the flavour does come through quicker on a Nova, uh, on a Nova obviously, because. They seem to bed quicker for some reason. Don't know why, they just do. But uh, once you do get this bedded in, it, the, fla the, fl the flavour is nice. Because it, it's not like power in your face, but you can definitely taste consistency in the flavour. Because the vapour is a lot more, it seems to be it's consistent. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a constant you, you, stream yeah. of vapour. With, with this, so you get, constant, you get a constant flavour all the way through and out. Yeah. Whereas the Nova's is kind of power, Punch power. And yeah, sort of yeah I, I suppose I do kind of agree with that at some extent. I mean, the vapor of it, when it's performing well, all bedded in and everything else, at times, and this is at times, is better than DDA. It's, it's, it's area, so it doesn't feel as thick, but the amount of it you get is ridiculous. It really is. I mean, earlier on when this was set up, I was like, Poof. it's like, well, it wasn't today, it was a couple of days ago. But um, vapor for me overall, all things in, into account is a seven as well. It's only, I mean, on silica, these things are only really going to perform as well as the best the close to the DDA. Why not just get a DDA? Why? Cheaper, or, I mean, easier. I know dripping slightly an inconvenience, but it's not as much of an inconvenience as this bloody thing is. Trust me. Um, it's so really yeah. not. We dripped each for a day at work, and it was fine. Oh yeah, I, I, I I'm going to disagree again with Mr. Pro on, on vapour, I think it's not cool, like the amount you get, I don't think it's as mild, I mean it is a lot, because it is an area draw, it is. It looks, it looks a lot thinner, but I take that into context as well, if you're getting a thicker vape, you're getting more vape, more flavour, that's how I see it and how well, I no, feel it. because you take, I take as big a draw with this, I, basically I will draw with this and the DDA if until I, I can't take any time. more in, and the DDA is thicker, but goes quicker. Whereas this is slightly thinner, but it just keeps going. Yeah, but it's more consistent, but it, it doesn't feel as much. It doesn't, it doesn't on your lungs, and in your breath, it doesn't, doesn't feel like as much. As much. It fucking does. It doesn't. I mean, Mate, this is where we, we, we argue about this constantly. Every this time is not something we're like, yeah, this is much better than DA, this Paul. No, it's not. No, I don't say the Paul's better than DA. When you blow Sometimes, out, when you get it set up just right and you get that smoke, uh, sorry, vape you come can't out. You can get everything just, just right in that, that thing. Get, I mean, no, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm not saying that it is not worth the effort to get that. I mean, at best, it's like 5% better when it's performing at its best. And it's only ever briefly when with us anyway. But for that brief 
while it does, it's slightly better in terms of the what amount of vapor. The I prefer consistency of the DDA or no, I even vape in general. Free. In general, I prefer the DDA's vape. I'm not saying I prefer the Argus, even when it is that five percent better. But when it is that five percent better, it there is more vapor there. Yeah, but that's five percent comes every fucking two I'm, million percent. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that. I agree it's, with you totally. It's, it's not worth the effort. It really isn't. It isn't I mean, worth the effort. It's a nice looking device, and when you got it working, I'm sure other people with other is it Genesis style. You said yeah, Genesis style uh, rebuildables. You may be an expert at this, and you know exactly where everything's got to go. You know how to tweak it and get it right. Bam! Yeah, I'll probably straight away. Love it. Yeah, it's going to be amazing for you. I've watched but videos I'm as well, and they've said that it's better than the Arga Arga A G A or the Arga S. They said it's better than that. So take that as you will. But it's just for it's me, you. Ninety percent of vapors out there, and everyone who's watching our videos, it's just not worth it. No, because I, I mean, I, we've seen like a lot of the people that comment on our videos are. Kind of either new to uh, vaping or have kind of stuck what they started with. Yeah, they haven't really experimented or trying to get themselves out there. And since they've been watching us, they've been asking yeah. us questions, <laughs> and we've got them onto other stuff that they seem to be really enjoying. And yeah. we're happy that we could help you in that way. But if we're going to be honest, stay away from so it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, honestly, if if you, I mean, we're gonna again, Dan. You've been mentioning pretty much everyone on our videos recently. Head dog, not forgotten about you, mate. But we've been talking to Dan a lot. Yeah, that um, head dog's kind of. He's, he, I think Head Dog's been working a lot, saying. So yeah, but, um, he works nights, so he, he kind of has a hard. Yeah, but Dan doesn't do anything. Dan sits on his phone. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> to work. But, um, but no, no, I mean, with, with Dan in particular, Dan's got a twist and a pass through, and he was using three and a half mil cardio tanks. He's put a DDA in blue, which is actually what made Worm get his in blue. I've got one in silver. I've got to mention now, I know it's not a DDA video, but these finishes on the DDA are so good. Um, it's just metallic, like a luminous metallic paint. It's nice. All of them. Very it's nice. Very, very good paint on these. Right. Back to the arm. Um, overall performance, go on, I'll let you hit the bat first. Alright, overall, bear in mind everything, I know I've gone a little bit up and a little bit down. Overall, I am going to give it low because of... You've got to take everything into account with the argument. Yeah. You can't just go... No, but the, the, the main things, that, yeah, the main things I'm pointing into out. Account. Everything into account, but the main things that are knocking it more down than anything else is the amount of little parts that you can have go missing. The pain in the arse is to get it working that 5% that's amazing. And... Just if you are going to go metal mesh, which is what it's meant for, really, there's a lot of prep work into metal meshing a coil, and it's a, it's it's more pain than you want, especially if you just want a nice, quick like device that you can go everywhere with. I mean, if you want a home vape that's going to be really good, then yeah, and you don't mind if if, if you like tinkering and you want yeah. to work it well. Go for it. That's, if you're a it's tinkerer, only twenty quid. If yeah, if you're a tinkerer, for this it. is for you pretty much. I mean, if you if you're someone that doesn't really watch telly, doesn't play COD or play on your Xbox, doesn't socialise too much, doesn't go down a pub. If you're someone who sits indoors and sort of DIY handy, shall we say, and you sit indoors and you do little bits and bobs, you're probably going to love it. You'll probably love sitting there for three hours a night, getting it perfect, and then vaping it for a week, and then a week later doing it all again. You probably will love it. But for, for me, I just haven't got the time for the average vapor. And I think this is a, a lot of people. I think bother. the DDAs are out of the reach of a lot of average vapors until you've watched and experienced a lot of. Once you've tried it, you will you not regret a DDA, but that you might regret. I mean, to be honest with you, we're semi-experienced when it comes to rebuilds. We consider ourselves to know quite a bit more than most, especially well, since we read we, a lot. We research epic and amounts. You've seen we've done videos. I know that quite a few guys, uh, of you guys, that have been watching our videos, have been taking our advice, and um, I'm, I'm glad you are. Uh, hopefully, we can help as much as what we can. But even I. To be, if I'm gonna be totally, totally honest with you, I regret buying the Argo just purely because I don't ever use it. It's just for me, it's just oh, it's not worth the effort. DDA ten times easier, less than half the price, better results. Uh, Nova, hundred times easier. With the I get the ump with. The, I mean, you, I mean, as Wells pointed out, I'm not the the like the calmest of people. When I start to lose my rag with something, I go from. <laughs> I go from calm. He's literally sitting there, all nicely, and then <laughs> I do blow quick. And when I blow, that's it. Think going in a box. I ain't, I ain't even looking at it for a week. But if you are more patient a minute, you might enjoy it. But it's just, it's. I, I wouldn't. I would not buy it again. I would. If someone said, "Do you want one for free?" Yeah, I'll have it because it can sit in my box and do bugger all. But I wouldn't buy it again. Um, you never know. If one day we get a hundred likes on a video, we may give it away to one of you just so you can experience the the terror that is the Arga. It's not a bad device. It's not a bad performing device. It's not a bad looking device. It's not an expensive device. It's not a device that I want or need. Um, I bought it on a punt and thought I'll give it a go. Having had given it a go, I probably would stay away from Genesis style tanks altogether. I don't regret trying it. 
It's not a reflection on the Arga. No. It's all Genesis style tanks. I don't see the point of them. You have to re wick them once a week. Well, I'm sorry, it takes about four days to re wick it. <laughs> so, or if it does for us, I mean, we got lucky in that video, but usually it's an hour and a half faffing, isn't it? And then I usually get the ump and he goes, well, I'll let me do it then. I go, fucking, you fucking do it then, you fucking <laughs> ass. And he does it and I go, yeah, yeah it's nice. And then 10 minutes later, I'm going, no, it tastes burnt. So it's just, what's the point? It's, it's, I can imagine Metal Mesh getting it set up just right. It's probably going to be, at, I mean, at very, very best, 10, 15% better than DDA in terms of flavour and vapour, and because it's got a tank, it's easier to use. But the fact it's got a tank does not make up for the fact that you drip into this. It doesn't. The fact you have to re that like a bastard, it bloody wants to have a tank. <laughs> Honestly, it wants to have an ice cream tub <laughs> at the bottom of it, so I don't have to do it ever again. It really does. <laughs> because, honestly, a free meal tank for the FAA tank is just so <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Ice cream tub. Wait, two meters or something. It really does because basically he, he wants this as his tank. Yep. Okay, basically what you want is oh, where's it gone? It's disappearing. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's here. It's here. What you want is that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what you want to make it worthwhile for me. It really is. I know. Again, I'm not slagging it off because it can be nice. And if you do like to tinker, you like to tinker. Fair enough. But then why not buy yourself a DDA and tinker with this? Why not try and dual coil it? Or you've got like the same makers who make this have got an AGI, um, which is a rebuildable tank and dripping at you. Or you've got the IGO S, the IGO L, both dripping at you, both air holes drilled into the side, a lot of these <coughs> coil, they'll hold about a minute and a half of juice. Why not go with one of those? Why would you buy the Argo? I just, if you're looking at this, my advice to you, unless you are extremely, really, really, really experienced with rebuildables and you've particularly got the time, particularly Genesis styles, and you've got the time and effort and you really want to do it. Fine, do it. You're not going to regret you spending 20 quid. It. But my advice to 99.9% .9 of real people Joke out there, Joe, normal, normal people who have just been vaping V3s and Novas and stuff, don't do it. One of them, a nice drip tip and delivery is like what? Well, I mean, me and Worm bought one of these each and I bought a drip tip and delivered for about 17 quid from Totally Wicked using their yo-yos. But, but yeah, they were in yo-yos and we got them for 5 99 each. Right, and I've seen them as last four pound fifty. So honestly, these is are where it's at there? still. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 They are still in there. They, they're still in there till this Thursday because they change on Friday. They change Friday afternoon, so it'll still be in there. Friday, Friday Thursday. Yeah. Do it Thursday. Do it before three, and you should have it. Hopefully. Well, no, because they do tend to take a day before you. If you do next day delivery, do it before three. If you're not, do it after later in the evening. It will come it will Monday. Come when it comes. But um, yeah. I, I mean, like I said, we've. This is how much we hold this DDA. One, I've got two of them for starters. I mean, I've got one in black, one in silver, as you probably know, but there you go. Flat drip tip, round drip tip. It's just, they're wicked. They're not hard to make look exactly how you want it to look. I like colour match. Some people might like this drip tip on that and vice versa. Not for me. But we've said before, usually totally wicked. They're basically the same products as everyone else and they're slightly more expensive. With this, they're actually cheaper than E-Sig Wizard. Um, by about two or three quid, and I don't know if he's able to buy you spare calls, but this has got us back onto actually looking at Totally Wicked. That's how good this is. That we don't, I mean, we still go in there just basically post the yo yo's. Yeah, we do post the yo yo's, that's pretty much what we go back for. But I don't want to point out that Totally Wicked, the stuff they seem to sell always seems to work. work. Yeah, there's a reason. Except for the triple core cartomizers. Uh, yeah, triple core cartomizers. Is totally Wicked, no. <laughs> but everything else, they do seem to spend a lot but of We did talk time to Dan about it because he was a cartomizer man and he said that he bought a 10 pack once and had three that worked. So I don't think it was particularly Totally Wicked's fault. It might just have been carto the cartos that seem to come dead. Yeah, I mean, but like we were saying, Totally Wicked, it just seems that they, they, the reason they're probably more expensive when it comes to most of their stuff is because they spend more time researching. I mean, things like the Novas and stuff, there's really no excuse. It's I the same product everywhere. But a lot of better, a lot better um, testing processes and yeah. process and how much they do it before it goes onto their site. For bespoke products, yeah. I mean, like the DDA is fairly bespoke at the minute. I know they're probably one of the first, they were the first to get it in in mind. I was looking at a cart miser before we got those triple coils and they didn't work and then we talked to Dan. I was looking at buying the uh, Odyssey, which is 50 quid. It's UK made though and UK produced, so you're probably paying part of it because it's going to cost more to make. Um, and the bill on it does look lovely, but to be honest with you guys, unless you need the convenience of a tank, in which case, Get rid of the carters and go over and over just because it's easier all round to use and you're going to be just and as you happy can rewick that thing and you can rewick it so it's cheaper as well and the carter and the 80 heads are the same price as carters and last like three right. times as long back onto but the overall oh, performance no. for me you gave it a what a four or something sorry guys we've gone well off um yeah which is awesome useless <laughs> um yeah okay overall for me all things into account so that's cost how it performs what you've got to do to make it perform compared to a nova i can't give it more than a four 
I don't intend on giving it more than two, mate. I'd say it's a two. I really, I, I mean, I, it's not that I hate the Argo. I, I just, I can't see why you'd want to do it. I want to point out, I think his is more of a two because he gets, he, like, he hasn't got the patience for it all the time. Yeah. If you've got Whereas more patience than me, then. I've got quite a lot of patience. I, I, I've, I've sat there and re it three fucking times in a row. Yeah, but as if you were annoyed with it. Yeah, but I was annoyed with it, but I persevered. I, I will get it there until it fucking works. And then it <clears> does <throat> it for about 15, 20 minutes and it doesn't. It's not as nice. Sorry, guys, just loosening off the trousers. But um, yeah, over for me, two, three at best, four. It's just, it's guys, it's not. It's a bad product. It isn't. And if you it's are a Genesis, if you're a Genesis style tank user, for you, this is going to be an eight or a nine. All right, it is. It's it's, it's a good all round tank. But seeing as this is a rebuildable, ten times easier. You got the Novas and stuff, and they perform just as well, if not certain times better. Certain times worse, but certain times better. Um. I can't justify all the time, effort you'd have to, to, to do, like to, to put into it to get it to work. I just that that is the main thing. If it was sort of easy, then then yeah, it'd be a lot higher. Probably be like sort of seven, eight sitting around where sort of the V3 sit. But because of what you've got to do to get the results, it just makes it pointless for me. So that is what it is, guys. We've been saying we we're going to do it for a while. We've now done it, um, and I'm so glad it's done. Um, I've been Proton. This has been the Worm. Thank you for watching. Catch you soon, guys.